I'd like to thank Brother Gardner for his kind words and introduction. The subject is riding on the high pieces of earth. Amen. Let us pray. Our wonderful Lord, we are thankful that we can worship you on your holy Sabbath day yeah. in spirit and in truth. Yeah. We, we ask that you please be with us as we preach, as I preach your word. Yeah. And may your message reach the hearts of those listening. Amen. We ask his presence in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please turn your Bibles to Isaiah 58, verse 13 and 14, and you find the same thing. says, if thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, I call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord, honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, nor finding thine own pleasure, nor speaking thine own words, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, thy father, for the mother of the Lord has spoken. Amen. God has promised these special blessings for those who are willing to respect this holy day. Yes. Amen. I want to mention a few of the benefits that come from obeying God and keeping the Sabbath day holy. First, God will bless those of you who keep the Sabbath day holy with health and strength. All of us ought to be thankful today for a reasonable portion of health and strength. Amen. Because if we didn't have a reasonable portion of health and strength, we wouldn't be able to be here today. Amen. My friends, the fact that you're worshiping God today is evidence that God is being good to you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Good health is an integral part of good religion. Yes. Third John 2 says, when you find it, say amen. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. Strength is also very important. Deuteronomy 33 verse 25 says, Thy shoes shall be iron and brass, and as thy days, so shall thy strength be. Some people are worried about what is going to happen tomorrow. They, are, they wonder if they will enjoy good health tomorrow. Christians don't have to worry about things Amen. like that. Because God has promised Amen. to give us health and strength yes. one day at a time yes. as we trust in Him. Yes. That is a special blessing God has promised to give His people. Yes. Second, God promises to give us blessings with food and clothing. Yes. Turn with me to the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, and we find the same man. Notice verses 30 to 33. Wherefore, if God so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the heaven, oven, shall he not be not much more clothed you, Amen. O ye of little faith? Yes. Therefore, take no thought, saying what we shall eat, or what we shall drink. Or wherewith shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles see. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added Amen. Children of God don't have to worry about having food to eat no. or clothes to wear because God has promised to take care of us. Amen. If we put God first in our lives, God will supply us with everything yes. we need. Amen. God made, made provision for our needs long before we even Amen. realized we had a need. Yes. 
long before we felt cool in the winter time. Yes. God began storing up oil and cold in order to keep us warm. Yes. He knew that we would get hungry. So before he, he created man, he, made, he put God put fertility into the soil and put life into the seed so that food might be produced. Yes. Isn't God wonderful? Yes. He knows that what we need before we even ask Amen. him. It's turn your Bible to Psalm 37, verse 25. It's fun to say amen. amen. I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteousness forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. You don't have to worry about going around and begging for food and for the necessities of life because God will take care of you. Amen. The third blessing God bestows upon his obedient people is his guidance and protection. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, when you find it, say amen. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Isn't that an encouraging passage yes. of scripture? Yes. Amen. If we just put him first and trust and acknowledge him yes. in all our ways, yes. God, will, God says he will direct our paths. Yes. He will guide us. The Bible also says that God will protect us. In Psalm 34 verse 7. Amen. Amen. It says, the angel of the Lord encamped around about them. Around about them. That fear and delivered them. And Psalm 91 verse 11 says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. We don't have to worry about what is going to happen to us no. when we walk out into the streets right. because God has sent his angels yes. to take care yes. of us. Yes. Isn't that a wonderful blessing? Yes. Yes. Nothing can affect a child of God without his permission. Yes. I repeat, nothing can affect a child of God without his permission. Yes. God also promises peace and real happiness to his faithful people. Yes. Many people today are searching for peace and happiness. Yes. When we put God first in our lives, peace and happiness will automatically be ours. Amen. David says in Psalm 40, verse 8, I delight to do thy will, O my God, yea, thy law is within thy heart. Yes. David was happy serving God. Are you happy serving God today? Yes. The fifth lesson I want to mention is material prosperity. Turn your Bible to Psalm 84, verse 11. You find it, say amen. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk up, walketh uprightly. Amen. In the verse we began with Isaiah 58 verse 14, it says that if we are faithful in keeping the Sabbath, the Lord will cause us to ride upon the high places of the earth. Yes. And in Deuteronomy 3 verse 10, it says, if you are faithful and tired pain, God will open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there will, shall not be room enough to receive it. Amen. How many need a blessing like that today? Amen. All you have to do is be faithful to God. Amen. If you do that, the blessings will come abundantly. Another blessing God offers his people is the forgiveness of sin. Yes. Turn your Bibles to Psalm 51, verse 5. Find say amen. 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 Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Yes. We are all born sinners, so we can benefit from this blessing. Yes. 
1 John 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. And Psalm 103 verse 8 to 10 says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenty is in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will He keep His anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. I thank God for His blessings of forgiveness. Amen. All of us have sinned, and all of us deserve to be lost. Yes. But God has not dealt with us according to our sins we have committed. Amen. He has been merciful to us. Amen. And that is why He has given some of you a second chance. Yes. Some of you should have made the decision long ago. Yes. Some of you have had third, fourth, or fifth chances. Yes. And some of you would have been dead a long time ago. Yes. Were not for the mercy Hallelujah. of God. Yes. yes, God has promised forgiveness of sin. Yes. But if we want God to forgive us, we must be willing to forgive one another. Amen. Amen. Did you know the Bible says that God won't forgive us if we don't forgive others? Turn your Bible to Mark 11, verse 25 and 26. And you find say amen. 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 And, when, and when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have thought aught against each other, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you of your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, Neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive you of your trespasses. If we are not willing to forgive others, God will not forgive us. If you are holding a grudge against someone, you better get straight now if you want to get your prayer answered. If you are holding a grudge against someone, your prayers will get no higher than the ceiling. But if you are willing to go and get things worked out with your brother and forgive him, God will hear and answer your prayers. Amen. The seventh blessing that God promises is spiritual power. How many would like to have spiritual power every day? Turn your Bibles to Acts 1 verse 8. When you find sin, amen. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. God is causing light to shine on your pathway, in order that you will have power to live in harmony with His Word, and also in order that you might share His Word with others. God has promised us the power through the Holy Ghost. We need to be aware that the Holy Ghost will not dwell in an unclean body. Amen. The Holy Ghost will not dwell in an unclean heart. No. If your heart is full of pride, selfishness, or envy, yes. the Holy Ghost is not going to dwell in us. Amen. I like to point out that God has promised to supply all of our needs, Amen. not all of our wants. No. Some may think they need a million dollars. We don't really need a million dollars to get a, life in, get a long life, don't no. we? Sometimes God may want to keep us rather poor. Yes. Amen. There's nothing wrong with being rich. Oh, no. But sometimes God allows some people to remain poor. Yes. Because he knows if they were rich, you wouldn't yes. be able to touch them with a ten foot no. pole. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When you are poor, yes. it is easier to recognize yes. you need God. Yes. Some may yes. say, what about a million dollars? I would give half of it to the church. Mm. Turn your Bible to Jeremiah 17 verse 9. You find the same man. The heart is deceitful above all things yes. and desperately wicked. Yes. Who can know it? Sometimes we don't even know ourselves. No. 